Since the release for the second trailer of Death Stranding, everyone has been comparing the two trailers and making speculation. Since I got a considerable amount of amazing responses in my last Death Stranding video, I wanted to discuss more on what I have come up with based on these two trailers. Thank you everyone for your support. The tunnel has a lot of mysteries and I feel that it has a much more symbolic meaning than what we have discovered so far. In the center of the tunnel we find an opening, like a room of some sort, where you can find handprints all over the walls. These handprints seem to resemble the ones found walking towards Norman in the first trailer. Although I figured this might just be associating the two trailers together, I found something quite interesting about them. Just like the first trailer, the handprints are oil covered and seem to be crawling, as if the creature we don't see doesn't have feet. I also want to note that the liquid that the doll is floating in doesn't seem to be oil, but more of a dirty substance that is clear and lighter like water. Looking closer at the handprints in the tunnel, you will see that they have climbed up the wall, perhaps to move away from this dirty liquid. Guessing that the oiled handprints would simply be soaked into the liquid, the moving creature might possibly die if it is motionless in it. Looking back at the first trailer, we find the handprints walking to Redis's body, which makes it seem as if the handprints were Norman's soul entering his body and waking him up from his slumber. Once the baby disappears, we find the baby's handprints walking off Norman's body and away from him. We can assume that the bodies of real human characters, such as Rita's and Del Toro, could possibly be shells that are controlled by these handprinted creatures. Looking back at the second trailer, we see multiple handprints in the tunnel, as if to say there is more than one creature escaping Mad Mickelson's character. Looking at both the trailers, we don't see any other living being besides Rita's, Del Toro, and Mickelson's. Humanity might be living through the souls of these handprints in the universe and trying to find ways of surviving. Usually I like to discuss my own theories in these videos, but I found quite a remarkable find from Reddit user MDZ1234 that I find needs to be discussed further. Above the tunnel entrance you find what looks like letters carved into the stone as if naming this tunnel. In MDZ1234's post, it was discussed by another Reddit user that there is a very noticeable J and carved in the center of the entrance. The user went on explaining how it reminded him of the crash screen found in Kojima's game PT, or in other words, Silent Hill's playable teaser. The Throughout PT, the game would purposely crash and display various unusual screens. One in particular shows a note by someone that goes by J. At the end of the teaser, people found themselves unable to progress and finish the game unless they did strange commands, such as walk 10 steps, hearing baby cries, and even using a microphone to say a name. Players found themselves advancing if they used a name that starts with the letter J. Found in the teaser, there are many voice transcripts that are in foreign languages and others being reversed. One reverse transcript, if played forward, would say, I walk until I stood one pace before Jack. This Jack character was confirmed to be the J character from the loading screen based on the coding found in the source of the game. As the J seems to be the only visible letter above the tunnel entrance, we can assume that the J must mean something and it can possibly root back to PT's Jack. As we haven't seen anything else in the past two Death Stranding trailers that could associate to the letter J, this J could have a symbolic meaning and might be pointing out that the person found in this tunnel is indeed Jack. There's only one living being, not including the skeleton soldiers, found within the tunnel, and that's Mads Mikkelsen. Wouldn't it be interesting if his character was Jack from PT? Something quite interesting about the reverse transcript found in PT is that it explains Jack as being a dark and terrifying individual, someone that would make you stop frozen in your tracks, as he is full of darkness. This could easily fit the description of Mickelson's character, as he is covered in dark strands all over his body, with a terrifying look in his eyes. In the final seconds of this trailer, he was able to hide his dark strands, as if he can disguise himself and deceive his enemies. He also carries a compass that continuously spins out of control, as if he has a magnetic force, making him even more inhuman-like. The doll also seems to be pulled by this magnetic force as well, in view of the fact that there are nails on the top of the doll's head, which could be pulled by a magnet. Although the doll was pulled by a cord when it first reached the tunnel, it seemed to be let go at the end of the trailer and could possibly be dragged by Mads magnetically. When Del Toro anxiously pushed himself to start moving in the tunnel, it almost feels like he was petrified to move further down, as if he sensed someone resembling a devil-like character. Mickelson also seems like he is death himself, controlling an army of the undead. 
As I explained in the last Death Stranding video, the Silent Hills project that Kojima, Del Toro, and Reedus worked on could be evolving into Death Stranding, but how much of this project is being brought back to life? As Jack was an unknown character in PT, he still was associated to it in some way. Could he be carried over to Death Stranding and make an appearance? For all we know, Kojima could be misleading us with all these subtle pieces, but what is the fun of ignoring such a small detail that could mean so much? I want to thank you all again for the positive feedback from my last Death Stranding video. You guys are truly the best and I enjoy seeing what you guys have to say, so consider liking the video for more of these Death Stranding videos. I might make a collection of your guys' theories and make a video on it. Put in the comments if you guys would like your ideas heard. Thank you again friends and I'll see you in the comments.